Good evening, Ronan. How's it going? Hello, Ronan. Are you there? Hello, hello, teacher. Hey, hello. Good to see you. I, I told you we're not in the class. Yeah. I can see Teresa also. Good evening, Teresa. Well, let us greet everybody. Okay, so we're going to start at, at eight o'clock exactly. We're still missing like three minutes. Well, Berenice is over here. Good evening, Berenice. Welcome. Okay, Berenice, Teresa, and Ronan. Okay. Congratulations. Well, I hope that you are more than ready. Hey, how's the weather there? Uh, also, I have uh, Oscar. Welcome. Oscar is just getting connected. That's going to be a great uh, time, hopefully. I hope that you took or you drank some coffee. That is, uh, I think that is, there's magic, right? They can drink a cup of coffee just before uh, entering to the English class. Wow, well, that is, that is very uh, important. I don't know if you like or if you don't like coffee. Oscar, do you like coffee? Yes, teacher. Yeah, I like I, coffee. Say, yes, I do. I, I like coffee. Teresa, do you like coffee? Ronan, do you like coffee? Yes, teacher. Oh, yes, you do. You say, yes, I do, teacher. Yeah. I like coffee. Okay, very good. Now, Nival got into the class. Hey, Nival, how's it going? Hello, Nival. Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening. Hey, Nival, do you like coffee? Mm. How much? Much. Oh, you, you, <laughs> you like it? A lot. All right, very good. Ronan, do you like coffee, Ronan? Yes, yes. They say, yes, I do, teacher. <laughs> yes, I do. They yes, say, I sure. Do. Of course. And you say, of course, right? Of and course. Do you say, do you like coffee? Yes, sure. I never yeah. wake up every day. <laughs> every day? Every morning, every 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 afternoon, yeah, every single night. Okay, but all actually, time. do you drink coffee at lunch time? All you time, teacher. Cafe at la hora de all time, yeah. teacher. <laughs> Sometimes I feel, ah, so you belong to my team. I pues sí, pertenecen a mi equipo. Okay. Because I, I sometimes drink some coffee, at, uh, at, you know, and at noon. Okay, at noon, at midnight. So coffee, it's good all the time. <laughs> okay, welcome, everybody. It's really nice to see you over here. Now I have two, four, six people. I wonder what's happening with the rest of the guys. Today is Thursday. It is not Friday, right? Today is Thursday, and we have a lot, a lot of things to do. All right, so we're gonna start. I will check the list at the end. Well, some people are just getting into the class. Let me see. Yeah, I have only five people now, and it is time to start. Let me see. I will check the people that are over here. So we will try to do it quickly. Okay, since I only have uh, five people, I will try to do it quickly. And then we're gonna say, well, actually, wow, I have nine people. Now I think it's better if I check it the regular way. Aidan. Good evening. Good evening, Aidan. Uh, Belen. Claudia. Is Claudia here? I saw Claudia. 
Daniel, Dina, Edgar, Gladys, Jonathan, Maria Elba, Cristobal. Good evening. Okay, now Cristobal is right here. Marta. Good evening. Okay, Michael. Good evening. Okay, Michael is here, right? Uh, Noé. Yes. Yeah. Present teacher. Okay, Noé is right here. Uh, Norma Xiomara. Norma is not. Yeah, Norma is right here, right? Yeah, Oscar. Present teacher. Good. Ronan. I saw Ronan and also Teresa. Present teacher. Present. Yeah. Present teacher. Yeah, Teresa is there and Vera Liz. Belen is over here. Okay, I'm driving. Okay, Belen, uh, let, thanks for letting me know. I hope, be careful, okay? Gladys is over here, Belen is over here also. Gladys, Belen is over here, and also Gladys, right? So, well, first time I check list attendance, and hey, actually, it's better Liz over here. Better Liz, are you over here? Wow. So, when Alice is not here, she's very, she's on time on, but I don't know, something happened today. Well, welcome back. Now listen, uh, I already checked the, the platform. Okay, you know the platform, oh, Maria is over here. Give me a second, Mary. Maria, Maria Elena, right? Maria Elba, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, we have a lot of activities as we usually uh, do. And we're going to start as quickly as possible because we need to take advantage of time. Hope everything's all right. I hope that you have had a great journey, a great day at work because, you know, Today is um, an excellent day to keep like, working really hard in learning a second language, that is English. Hey, how, how much do you love English? ¿Qué tanto aman el inglés? Del, del, el, en porcentajes, 10%, 20%, 50%, 100%. Are we checking? Hey, uh, Berenice, what did you learn? What is the expression you learned today? Sorry, but it's raining over here. I will try to speak loud. But no sé si algunos me escuchan como que estoy gritando, pero que en realidad está lloviendo un poco fuerte acá. Pero espero que sí me escuchen con claridad. Okay? So, okay, me voy a acomodar los headphones para escucharlos mejor. Now, yes. Berenice, let us know about the expression you learned. Ah, otra cosa, digiten la expresión, primero díganos la expresión que se aprendieron y de ahí la digitan en el chat, ¿ok? ¿Ok, Berenice? Well, this is my personality. That, uh, things are looking for me now that I have a job and I'm a house. Wow, fantastic, great. A great pronunciation also. Thank you. I, I really love what you what you learned today. Do me a favor to type it in the chat, please. Did you hit the yeah, yeah. chat, por favor? Okay, Aníbal, what did you learn today? Okay. Hey, you know, Berenice is full, it's in it's deeply in love of English. Está 100% enamorada del inglés. Ya se fijaron. Vamos yeah. a ver a Aníbal, a ver qué qué, qué porcentaje está le salen los corazoncitos. Ahí. Okay, okay. Aníbal, okay. Estoy un poco así nada más así. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Aníbal, the expression that you learned today, please. <laughs> un, 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 no sé cuánto me dice 80. Okay, 80%. 80%. Yeah. 
80 pesos. Oh, okay, 80. so tell me the expression that you learned. Dígame la palabra o la frase que se aprendió ahora. Recuérdense que todos los días nos van a enseñar una frase que se aprendió. Eh, de una que me guste. De una que se, la que se aprendió ahora. Todos pueden digitarla ya a modo de ir este, aprovechando el tiempo. Ok, mientras llego ahí donde ustedes y nos digan qué es lo que se han aprendido, la frase que se aprendieron este día, ok. So if you're not ready, Aníbal, si todavía no está listo, Aníbal, pues nos la comparte luego, ok. Ok. Ok, what about you, Norma? I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, well, that's a, that, is, that is a very, a very special, you know, that's a very important expression, right? Esa es una de las más importantes. Hey, ¿cómo decir tengo hambre? I'm hungry. Okay, very good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. That's quite good. Thank you. Aidan. Hello, teacher. Okay, Aidan. Uh, Let us know about what you learned today. Uh, two words. Two words, yeah. okay. Co-worker and seven-ish. Se the, those? Okay, so you learned them today. Okay, we started those yesterday, but you learned them today. Ahora se aseguró de aprenderse esas dos frases, esas dos palabras. Good. Okay, Michael. Good evening, Michael. Yes, teacher. Okay, let's talk about the phrase, the expression you learned in English, mm -hmm. please. Hey, digítenla en el chat, por favor. Quiero ver ese chat lleno de expresiones que se han aprendido. I, I learned to, to not wet, wet me for this rain. We it's need very to, hard. It's, it's like a piece of, uh, it's like a piece of a lyrics. Es una, eh, una canción o algo, ¿no? No, this is the, eh, eh, algo que me pasó. <laughs> ah, okay, so type ah, it in the yeah. chat, please. Digital in a okay, chat, okay. por favor. Bueno. Okay, very good. Aníbal, so Aníbal is done, right? So, Edgar. Let's say very quickly, people, because, you know, we have a lot of things to do tonight. Now, uh, let me see, Jorge. No, that, that is, hey, I'm so sorry. Veraliz. Hello, teacher. Okay, let us know about the expression you learned today. Thanks, God, for my mom's health. All right, that's a good one. Do me a favor to type it in the chat. Okay. Okay. Okay, Teresa says, good evening, everybody. Okay. Pretty good. So do me a favor to do so. Uh, then we have Gladys. Hi, teacher. Hi. Um, the phrase is, you have to always give your best. Excellent. Hey, you, you have to do your best. That is, that is an excellent one. Thank you, Maria. Mm. Let's get something to eat. Hey, let us get something to eat. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now, is, 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 is there anybody who's missing? ¿Quién falta o quién quiere compartir algo más? Si no, pues comenzamos ya con la clase. Let me see. Volunteers? <clears throat> no volunteers? Who are missing? People who are missing? Well... Well, uh, okay, I, I have Michael. I learned not to not to wait too much. Okay, I learned not to wait for much. Okay. Okay, thank you, Michael. Now, listen, everybody. Aníbal, did you get one? I really like coffee with, with six bread. <laughs> I love, you know what, you got a thing with me. Sacó diez conmigo con esa frase que dijo. Okay. I, 
Shit, bro. Okay, I very love, good. I love it. I love it. I love it too. All right. I love me too. And you love coffee too, right? <laughs> Actually, I already drank mine. Hey, Mary says, let's get something to it. Okay, Mary. Mary continues with her uh, message. Okay, welcome. And it's, it's been, been quite good to listen to you about what you have been like practicing during the day. Ok, recuerden, eso es lo primero con lo que vamos a estar arrancando, la frase del día. Pueden, miren, podemos empezar a aprender como eh, frases célebres en inglés que son muy, muy beneficiosas también. Siempre me ponen a pensar eh, acerca de, de algo relacionado a la vida. Es súper, súper genial aprenderse frases eh, célebres. Bueno, pero lo dejo a, a, a criterio propio, ¿ok? No. Teacher, perdón, teacher. Sí. Sería como una... Como palabras para motivar. Ya, yeah, bien, maybe palabras. motivational quotes. Pueden ser frases motivacionales, ¿ok? Ok. Si alguien se desea aprenderse alguna, pues perfecto. Pero vamos a estar tratando de iniciar siempre con esta actividad. ¿Qué, es, qué aprendieron ahora? Ah, Demuéstrenme okay. que de plano están enamorados del segundo idioma inglés. Que no le okay. están quemando la canilla con, con alemán. Con, con <laughs> francés, no, que inglés queremos, okay? Now, everybody, we're gonna, we're gonna start um, with the activities tonight. You know, hey, I have already checked the, 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 the platform. Insisto con, los, con las actividades de la plataforma, por ahí vi que ya hay un avance y ahora tiene la mayoría, tiene el 60%. A lo mejor se equivocaron con alguna, con, el, con algunas eh, ejercicios del ejercicio 1 apenas. Del ejercicio 2 no hay ninguna persona que lo haya hecho. Y ahora vamos con el ejercicio 3, ok, de la plataforma. Ok, so, yesterday we were talking about how much uh -huh. and how many, how much and how many, right? And we were talking about countable, non-countable, and we said that we use, uh, with countable nouns, that, what is the one that we use? Much or many? Countable, countable. Countable, many. Yeah, Double. parts countable. How much many. or how many? How many? How many? How many, right? Pretty good. How many? How many parts are there in this in your city? Number two, time. Countable, non-countable. No countable. Non-countable. Non how many or how much? How much? How much? How much? <laughs> hey, do me the favor to complete it with me, por favor. Si están en la en la plataforma, vayan haciéndolo conmigo. Ok, así nos aseguramos de que, que ya el ejercicio está completado. Now, number three, pollution, countable or non-countable? Countable. Is non-countable. How much or how many? How much. How much, how much. right? How much. Number four, co-workers, countable or non-countable? Countable. 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 How many or how much? How many? How many? How many? Yeah. How many co-workers? Pretty good. How many co-workers do you have? And yeah. number five, money, countable or non-countable? No countable. No countable. No -countable. No -countable. How much or how many? How much? How much? How much, right? And nowadays, you know, with Bitcoin, uh, we can count Bitcoins, right? <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would actually, I would really like to, to, to have like two bitcoins, at least two or one bitcoin would be all, all right. <laughs> Ahora que estamos el día del maestro, si alguien me quiere regalar, aunque sea un bitcoin, pues lo acepto con mucho gusto. All right. Wow. Okay. All right, so now I... <laughs> be sure, be sure, no sean tacaños, aunque sea un bitcoin. Okay. <laughs> I uh, open all. <laughs> all right, so you know, uh, be sure you send the answer. Okay, asegúrense de enviar la respuesta que quede registrado, por favor. Esta es la, la tarea número tres. Siempre me gusta iniciar con este repaso para recordarles que la plataforma registra sus, lo que ustedes van avanzando en ella, por supuesto. Hay otra actividad pero las de la plataforma son de especial importancia. Now, well, uh, 
Let me see. I have something else over here. Oh, ah, yeah. This is the one. Hey, you know what? Hey, teacher, this is the, uh, the third time we we go to the same exercise. Hey, teacher, this is the third time we go to the same exercise. All right. So what's the problem? What is the problem? So have you learned everything over here about vocabulary, about, you know, the script, right? So my routine act, how do you pronounce these people? Uh, let us let us try to do something. Let us see if we learned everything. Vamos a ver si hemos aprendido todo. Todo, 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 todo. Imaginémonos que, que ya nos aprendimos todo. Quiere decir que toda la pronunciación todo el vocabulario pues ya está en nuestra mentecita, ya la aprendimos. So, how do you pronounce this word? Actually. Okay. Actually. 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 Okay. Actually. Actually. How do you pronounce Actually. this word? Schedule. Huh? Schedule. 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 Now, pay attention. Schedule. 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 No, no. Schedule. Schedule. All right. Schedule. Okay, do me the favor. Hey, do me the favor to van escribiendo las palabras que vamos acá. Porque me van a mandar un audio al WhatsApp con las palabras que tenemos acá. Okay. Actually, schedule. Let me see what's the other one. Okay, downstairs. 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 Okay, Answer is watch. Watch. No, watch, no, watch. Let me see if there's another one over here. Come here. Come here. Come Okay, commute. Kind, kind, kind of, kind of, kind of. Kind of. Yeah, some people say kin, no, but it's not kin, it's kind of, kind of. It's all right. Uh, this is uh, some people, I don't know, but some people say chill. No, it is not chill. It is sure, child, 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 child. Uh, child. All right, so how many did we get? Quantas palabras obtuvimos? Siete. Seven, okay. Seven. 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 That's it, that's it, that's it, the number, the perfect number, right? Some people say it's a perfect number. Hey, listen. Uh, later, I will let you know, uh, uh, after the class would be really nice if you just sent a, 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 an audio in the WhatsApp group so that we can listen to those, to those seven words, okay? Manténganse practicando las hasta que les salgan super, super bien. Ahora, vamos con el quiz. Lo voy a, miren, ya lo escuchamos el lunes, el martes. No, parece que el martes fue la primera vez. Martes, miércoles y ahora jueves. Esta es la tercera vez. Así que ya se familiarizaron demasiado con este audio. Lo voy a poner una vez y automáticamente ustedes van diciendo la respuesta. Ok, here we go. Are you ready? Ready. Ok, here we go. Listen.
Sorry, do you listen to the audio? Yes or no? No, no, no teacher. Not at all. Okay, I'm sorry, it's my fault. Give me a second, please. ¿Saben qué? Vamos a ir leyendo el script y lo vamos a ir escuchando. Y ahí nos vamos al, 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 al quiz. Sorry, what's my fault? Fue mi culpa. No, no. No le di la opción correcta. Okay, we're going to see the script. I think it's better, right? Then we're going to go over the, the questions. Now you're going to, you, you will listen to it. Listen carefully, please. Now, do you, are you a morning show? Do you listen to it? Yes. Yes. Yeah, no, yes, right? No, yes. Okay, so now we're going to read, try to keep in mind everything, okay? This is the third time we listen to it. And now we're going to read the information again. Here we go. Uh, so, uh, Gareth, what's your daily routine like? Mm, my routine is actually a little irregular. Um, I have a different working schedule for each day of the week. Nice. Um, but on a weekend, my son usually wakes me up about half eight, nine o'clock. And um, <laughs> after that, we go downstairs and I get him some um, cereal. Like a, He likes at the moment uh, chocolate rice krispies. Mm. And um, he has a bowl of them and we watch um, Toy Story. He, he loves Buzz and Woody. So. Really, every weekend the same movie. <laughs> exactly, again and again and again. Yeah, so we we watch it a lot. Um, uh, on 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 weekdays though, mm -hmm. I um, usually wake up at six a.m. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I have to go to work at eight, so I I um, commute on on the bus and train, and that takes an hour and a half. Um, mm -hmm. It takes a long time, and um, then I work. I get home about seven ish mm -hmm. um, have dinner with my wife usually if i come home late uh she waits and um she'll have dinner with me um and sometimes she she waits until like nine oh. yeah pretty late so uh, uh it's really nice um mm -hmm. do you are you a morning shower person or nighttime bath relax person or? ah yeah um so actually um i think i'm a kind of night owl um, uh -huh. I work much better in the evening and mm -hmm. I get m more done. Um, in the morning, I'm a little bit like a zombie. <laughs> but these last years working and have kind of trained me to be a, an early bird. Uh, waking mm -hmm. up so early as I do, um, I've kind of adapted to it. So, mm -hmm. um, But I much prefer the evening. So you would come home from work and eat dinner and do you then take like the bath to calm down to go to bed at night or uh no uh actually i prefer showers, showers. Than, than baths but um yeah I, I i usually relax with my family and um watch a movie or read a book um, my son's really into um dr zeus books they're um classic um children's books um from back home and um uh they're they're great that even from for me like um that's the good thing about having kids you kind of um um get um reattached to your um uh and, and feel kind of nostalgic about your your old um activities like the yeah. things that you did when you were a child so it's great when you were a child when you were a child right now yes the quiz now answer people he mentioned he mentioned he he mentions what day? What they what? What they eat, what they watch, or what they talk about? What? Okay, watch. you say watch. watch. You can watch. Hey, It may be one, one option, two options, or three options. It's up to you. Podemos elegir las tres si ustedes quieren. So, only one? Watch. Watch. That's it. So he mentions what they watch. Okay. Now, what does he say about his routine? He takes public transportation. He works nine hours. He gets home late. He gets home late. He gets home late. He gets home late. Only he that? gets home late. 
That's it. That's it. He says he prefers evenings or mornings. Evening. Evenings. Evening. Now he said he usually takes a bath or a shower. A bath. 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 How does he feel about the books? Childish. Childish. Or nostalgic. 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 Okay, we will check the answers. Now look at it. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> they talk about eating and they talk about watching something. Okay, this one, he was talking about public transportation and about getting home late. And he said he prefers <laughs> evenings. He sure. says he usually sure. takes a shower. And shower. how does he feel about the books? Real touch and mass touch. You know, yeah, too. So don't worry, Peter. Don't worry. This exercise is hard for that. If you commit a mistake, it's all right. Okay, later we have another activity. Sorry. Okay, not yet. Oh, okay, here we're gonna work a little bit with the PDF people. Okay, now. Well, I have, for example, time expression. We were uh, working with time expression, simple present. Okay, now how do you pronounce this? Every day. Every day. Berenice, what do you do every day? Well, every day um, I wake up 6 a.m. o'clock. I prepare my son to go to the school. Yeah, then my breakfast at, at 7 a.m. I prepare my computer for my job, but I job in my house. Fantastic. How do you pronounce this word? Every week, week, every day, every week, week every month, every year. every year. Okay. Now, how do you pronounce this expression? Daily. 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 Daily, daily okay. activities, right? Okay. Daily activities or routines. We call them daily activities or routines. How do you how do you say this? Weekly. Weekly, all right. What about this one? <clears throat> monthly. 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 Okay, monthly. Very good. Now, so, as you as you remember, we were talking about uh, time expression for regular activity. So I'm just presenting them in case we didn't see them in the in the PowerPoint presentation. But actually, I remember we studied a lot about it. Okay, so to be able to repeat every day, every day, every, day. every week, every week, every month, every month, every, month. every year, every, every year, year. <laughs> daily. 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 Weekly, 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 monthly, monthly. monthly. Now, well, daily activities and routine is a topic that we already studied. Also about uh, scheduled events. Okay, if I ask you, for example, uh, it says write five questions you can ask a classmate about a regular day at his or her job. Use the question to interview a classmate about his or her daily activities and the time for each. Example, time. You may say like, well, actually, you may say 5.30 a.m. Okay, that would be, uh, the time just to start a, a new day, right? Now, so what would be, what do you do or what does, in this case, we're gonna use the person, right? What does, uh, hey, is Jonathan over here? Jonathan, are you here? 
What does Jonathan do at 5 30 a.m.? As I said, 4 30, right? That would be a question, right? So, what does he do at 4 30? Well, Jonathan may say, hey, at 4 30, I'm still sleeping. I sleep. <laughs> now, in my case, I wake up at 4.30. What is the number of the page? Number six, people. Number six. There are some activities that we, we need to we need to finish, right? So like the one that we have in here. Now, Jonathan sleeps. Positive statement. What would be a negative statement? Jonathan does not sleep. Now do me the favor. Let us try to complete this, people. Now tell me another, another uh, tell me a different time. Tell me something you do at a different time. 7 a.m., for example. Seven a.m. Okay, what would be the question? What would be the question, Bisa? He, she, does. All right, so that's what we are practicing. Remember, third person singular. What does complete it? And what does we do at seven? At seven o'clock, right? So that would be a different question, right? So if I ask you, hey, what do you do at seven, people? What do you do at seven, Aniva? He does. No, he but does. It, in this case, it's about you. What do you do? What do you do at 7 a.m.? Um, I hear my breath. I? Okay, Aniva, you say that you 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 have your breakfast. Hmm. What does Aniva instead of saying Aniva instead of saying the pronoun he we are gonna use Aniva right? <laughs> what does Aniva do at ten o'clock? Well, Aniva has his breakfast. Okay, Aniva has his breakfast. What about at noon? Let's see a different time. Six o'clock. Six o'clock, okay, Oscar. Oscar wants to say what he does at 6 a.m. So what does Oscar do at 6 a.m.? Let's talk about it, Oscar. What does he do at six? I go to work. Uh, Oscar goes to work. Oscar goes to work. Now, Berenice, let us know about, about a time, specific time in your daily routine. Well, Four. In a middle day, 12, in middle day, I have lunch. Okay, so. They say you may say noon, right? At noon. Okay. But at 12 would be alright. So they say 12 p.m. Yeah, for lunch time. And what does she do? What does she do at noon?
Pradeshit Ratnan. Ah, she has her lunch or she she eats her lunch. Okay, and the last one. Tell me a different now, people. Tell me a different now. Norma? Um, hello, hello, Norma? Go out for lunch. For lunch. Yeah, but it, what time? Let me see. What do you do, for example, at 7 p.m.? Uh, at 8 p.m. I think it would be very, very clear about it. What do you do? What do you usually do at 8 p.m.? May get dinner for Uh do you, do you usually have dinner? Prepare the dinner. Have you prepared the dinner? Really? Eso no sabía que cuando están en clase están preparando la, la comida al mismo tiempo. <laughs> no, but that's okay. It's all right. Okay, pretty good. So, what does Norma do at eight? Well, she prepares food. Okay, people. What? What, I, what I'm looking for, lo que estoy buscando yo es que el PDF también le sacamos provecho. Okay. Cada ejercicio cuenta. Cada ejercicio cuenta. Okay. Now, any question about it? Any question? I have class. Ah, okay. What time? What, uh, what, what does Norma do at eight? She has her English class. Okay, mm -hmm. so you can create different questions, right? In different, you can you can have different answers because you know, since you change the time, you will have different answers. Okay, about theories you do during the day. Very good. Now I will continue, people. No questions. No hay pregunta de esta actividad. No. no. Okay, so I will continue. Now, over here, we, well, actually, we were like, yesterday we talked about how much and how many, okay? But we're not going to go over this part now. This was the activity you finished, right? Ayer terminaron esta actividad, okay? Esperaría verla dentro de poco. Dentro de poco. Okay, now I need to introduce uh, this also, this is a reading. Okay, this is a letter. This is a letter. Okay, a welcoming letter to Dominique's new job and answer the question below. Now, you are gonna help me to read. Me van a ayudar a leer, okay? Okay, somebody, please, this part. For For a better future. Dear employee. Dear, uh, look, look, please, look the pronunciation of this word. Looking at you, Busquen la pronunciación. Employee. Va a ser la palabra número 8 de su glosario esta noche. Empleado. Look, look, please. Look. Look in the web. Busquen en la web. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa palabra? Employee. 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 Ok. Now, keep it in mind. Now, second. 
Can somebody read this part? Can you read it? Welcome to traveling. Welcome. Congratulations, you are now part of the travel family. Great. Okay, remember, congratulations, you are now part of the travel family. Excellent. Now, anybody else? Yeah, here's some information about your new job. Please read it carefully. Excellent. Great. Read it carefully. Next part. Nay, Glenda Dominic Sanchez, your third junior sales manager. Sales manager, good. Now, somebody else? Please, please, please. Okay, hey, your duties. Okay, now you have two words over here. Keys. Key. 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 No, duties. Key. Duties. Yeah, you say key. You say key. No, but you say key. Key. Okay. Do you remember to look for those words in the, in the, in the, in the web? Key. Okay. Key and duties. Okay. You have two key. words more. Now, somebody key. else. Have a, have a meeting with your manager every week. Excellent. Anybody else? Get in contact with customer. Great. Somebody else? Answer clients' question about our product. About how? Okay, now do me the favor to look for this word. Booking in the web, por favor, esa palabra. Answer, answer. answer. Look, look for it, please. Look, look. Answer claim. Ah, okay, now answer, right? Or product. Yeah, answer. Answer. Uh, uh, answer. Now, answer. and look for this one, please. Our. Our. Yeah, our products. Our, right? Our. Now, the next one. Take orders on the telephone. Great. Take orders on the telephone. Call potential clients. Okay, call potential clients. Great. Now, anybody else, please? Vacation to, to wait for a year. Vacations two weeks per year. Okay, how do you say mass in English? Plus. Plus? Public holidays. Public holidays. Now, we're gonna see about the numbers. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. For those um, 40 oh. months. The salary? Salary for those um, for Honda. For Honda. <laughs> yeah, be careful. For Honda. Hey, be careful, you know. For, for um, 40. 44. 44. Hey, 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 when dealing with money, cuando, cuando se trata de dinero, cuenten bien, porque también hay <laughs> norteamericanos que no son muy, de muy buen corazón, que usted les dice. Que, que les debe cuatro, que, les, que en lugar de decir que le deben cuatro mil y les dice, ah, me debe cuatrocientos cuarenta. A él, por supuesto, le van a los cuatrocientos cuarenta. No, tiene que pronunciar bien. Ok. Now, how do you say, ¿cómo dice cuatrocientos cuarenta en inglés? Forty-four hundred. Forty-four? No. Forty. No, for. For hundred. For hundred. Forty thousand. 
Uh, but actually, it's four hundred forty thousand. No. <laughs> hey, how do you? Hey, what's what's going on with you? Now, homeboard. Let me see. Hi, teacher. Tarea. Tarea. <laughs> Números hasta el mil. Por lo menos. Por lo menos hasta el mil. Por lo menos para para esta semana. ¿Qué okay, tienes? Para empezar. Mil. Para Quiero empezar. Hasta el domingo. Sí, vamos a ver si lo logramos hasta un millón. Por ah, lo menos. No. Okay. Sí, homework, dos, dos homework. Busquen, busquen su estrategia, ¿ok? Necesito para hasta mil esta semana. Eh, 440 per month plus bonus. Ok, and the last one. Like the, this is very important, people. Miren, ahí está el signo de dólar. Quiero decir que esto sí es, wow, very, very important. No podemos equivocarnos con un, con un número tan... Tan tan, ok. Porque la... lleva comita, teacher. Es que es la comita. 4042. <risa> ah, es que eso los está confundiendo, la coma. Es, es que algunos ven la coma aquí después de este 4. Por eso dicen 444 mil. Ok. Uh -huh. So, good luck, Mark. Now, questions. Dominique speaks to clients in her new job. Yes or, or, or no? Yes. Yeah, right. It's true. Yes. Yeah, she speaks true. to her clients. True. In, true. You say true, true. true or false, right? You say true or false. Now, her salary is... By a minute, her salary is... ¿Cómo dicen eso en inglés? $100. Ya ustedes ya me contagiaron. $100. Ah, $100. $100. Okay, per week. Now, is that true or false? False. How much is false. it? ¿Cuánto le van a pagar? No le van a hacer jarana. $440. Ah, $440. Very good. Dominique gets a yearly vacation. Yearly vacation, sorry. Yes. Yeah. It's true. 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 Vacation, two weeks per year. That's right. So it's a yearly vacation, right? Yearly vacation. And the last one, she has to work on holidays. False. False. That is false. False. Yeah, actually, because uh -huh. on holidays, she has her vacation. So, of course, she's not going to work on holidays. Pretty good, people. Now, remember. Ya sacamos una tarea de ese ejercicio. Y sacamos palabras. Acuérdense, ya llevamos como, como unas 12 palabras, ¿verdad? Que hemos estado, que hemos estado practicando. Ok. Now let's see. Well, I, I need to get... Now, do me the favor to practice this conversation. Later on, we're going to go over it. Le, hágame el favor de, de, de practicar esto luego, por favor. Yo quiero llegar a la, a la parte de gramática que nos compete esta noche. Ok. Ya esto, pues, ya lo, 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 lo practicamos. Ok. Eso no quiere decir que ya está todo hecho. Recuérdense que, pues, aquí vamos como reciclando. Pero ahora, en esta parte, en, es, en esta noche, pues, nos compete un tema en específico, que son las oraciones negativas con presente sí. Y aquí está. Ok. So, listen carefully, because this is not, this is not difficult, people. It is not difficult, right? But there is like a, a, me a, a mechanical way to build up sentences. Ok. Now, if you learn the pattern, si se aprenden los patrones, de cómo se forman las oraciones, ya después, ya el cerebro, pues ya, ya ni siquiera, pues, ya sale automáticamente y se crean las oraciones, ya, este, de tanto practicarlo, ya la, la oración ya, ya fluye. Ok, so in this case, we're gonna go over the negative statements. Negative, right? So, negative statements. Negative. So, what's, what, what's all about? Well, positive or negative? Negative. Negative, right? So, what is this? 
not work. Yeah. She what does not this? work on weekends. No, I mean, does not. No, but I mean, how do we call this? Does the not. It, it is a subject, right? It's, it's a subject, but it's a subject pronoun. Hey, remember, keep it, keep it in mind. First person, second person, third person, uh, first person plural, second person plural, third person plural. So, what is this? Subject. It's a subject. Third person? Third person. Singular. Third person singular, right? So mm -hmm. what is this? And that's auxiliary. Uh, auxiliary. Oh, that's... Ah, you, know, you, you can see it over here, right? It's an auxiliary. Auxiliary. The auxiliary. Mm -hmm. the, what? what, what that's, right? That's. What is this? Um, negative. Negative. That's a negative form, right? So after after the auxiliary, if you include not, so you have the sentence in the negative form. What is this? This is verb. Work. That there. is a verb. In which form? Mm -hmm. The simple. In, in the base simple. form, right? So we have the person, singular, we have auxiliary, we have negative form, and after that, we have a verb in the base form. Okay. Positive statement, she works. Negative statement, she doesn't work on weekend. And we have, it. what is this? Complement. Mm. Mm. I will type. I, I will write down here. What is that? We studied it yesterday or the day before yesterday. What is it? An expression. Yeah, it is a time expression, right? And also it's a compliment. Pretty good, but uh, I, I just want you to remember that those are time expressions. Simple, present, negative statements. That's all about it with, regarding to the person singular, right? So if we want to include subject, well, we will see later. Now, over here, let's check this sentence, please. So miren, hicimos pedacitos la oración. Está fácil, ¿verdad? Here on subject, the auxiliary, not, where in the, in the base form. Uh, hey, what is this one? Actually, we didn't say what, what it's all about. Eso lo vimos en, en básico uno. What is it? What is it? No se recuerdan de este? Preposition. Ah, it's a preposition. ¿De qué tipo? ¿No se acuerdan que vimos unos mapas y otro que estuvimos hablando de... Estuvimos viendo la hora, los días de la semana. Ok. Now, as you can see, the everything tiempo. is important. Ah. Time. Ok. Time. That's a preposition of time. On weekends, on Mondays, on Tuesdays, etc. Right? Now... Next exercise. Now, do it by your own. Ahora hagan ustedes. Yo voy a ir señalando y ustedes me van diciendo qué es. Subject. Subject. Oh, yeah. yeah, but the, tell me the whole, the, everything about it. Subject. ¿Qué tipo de sujeto? Uh, subject pronoun. Um, plural. Ah, uh, pero plural. First person plural, second person plural, or third person plural. <laughs> Third person, plural. Third person, plural. Very good. Then we have... Two auxiliary. Verb. That's a, an auxiliary, right? Auxiliary. It is an auxiliary. Which auxiliary? Auxiliary? Do. Do. What else do we have? Not. We have not. And then bear, bear. Uh -huh. 
en la base form, right? So, si quisiéramos hacer la oración positiva, ¿cómo lo haríamos? They do they not do have, have, they do have, have much time. time. No, no, keep it in mind, because when, when you do it in, 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 in positive, cuando, cuando ya usan en positivo, ya no ocupan el auxiliar, ¿ok? They, they have much, they have, much time. They, they have much time. Have much time. time. All right? Okay. So be clear about it, ¿ok? En oraciones positivas, no, no, no. Auxiliar, no. ¿Ok? Necesitamos directamente el verbo. Si fuera tercera persona, she, she has much time. She has, she has, she much has time. No, no, no. Has. Some people say no, right? Acuérdense, este verbo es diferente. She has mm. much time. No se, va, no se le va a olvidar, ¿ok? Porque este, she, she has, no, eso no, no, no. En ningún momento. No vayan a, a pasar este, a, al siguiente nivel y van a decir she, she has. Y el teacher de profe, ¿qué fue el teacher que tuvieron en, en el básico 2? Teacher Kike. Ustedes me van a hacer la mala fama, ¿verdad? Entonces, no, please. Please. She has. She has. Ok. Now, coming back to the, the exercise. Regresando al ejercicio. Estamos a... Oh, sorry, sorry. That was my fault. Ok. So, you say, I was, uh, you say subject auxiliary not uh, have and then what, what do we have here? Much. When do we use much? Uncountable. Mm. Uncountable. Uncountable. Well, now you see everything is like Now we are just like something like the puzzle, right? Ya ve que todo sirve, todo lo que estudiamos se encierran en pequeñas oraciones, todo mire. Solo es ir siguiendo los patrones que se nos van presentando. En realidad, esa es gramática, ya, pues, cuando vayan en intermedio, pues, la gramática se va haciendo más interesante. Más difícil, no, más interesante, oye. En algunas veces que puedan, pueda que ustedes sientan que se, se va haciendo un poquito más complicado, pero nunca digan, wow, qué difícil es la gramática. No, qué interesante, suena mejor, ¿ok? Now, auxiliary. Now, here, now you see, subject, auxiliary, do or does, eh, not, the verb, and a complement. The complement may be a time expression or a different expression, right? So, can somebody read this statement, please? Can somebody read this statement? Can me ayuda a leer esta oración? Maria does not work at HPVC. HPVC, all right. So, as you can see, does not. Can be contracted also. We say doesn't, right? Doesn't. Doesn't. And do not. Can be just in the contracted form, like don't. don't. Okay, does not, doesn't. Do not, don't. Okay, now, uh, can somebody read no, uh, with no contraction? Can me ayuda a leerlo sin, sin, sin usar la, la contracción? Once again. Maria does not work at HPVC. Now, use contraction, please. Ahora leanlo usándolo de manera contractada. Maria, Maria doesn't work. work at 
HPVC. Excellent. Maria doesn't work at HPVC. Now, a positive statement. ¿Quién me ayuda a convertir esta oración en, en positiva? Um, Escríbanla en el chat. Quiero ver el chat activo. Maria. Quiero ver el chat, el chat activo. Maria words it pretty good, Daniel. That's the way it is. Now, second statement. Vamos con la segunda. Pretty good. Excellent. Vamos con la segunda. Marcos does not. Yo lo voy a decir así. Sí. Sin contractar, ustedes me van a ayudar a decirlo de manera contractada y de ahí me van a hacer la oración en positivo. Ok. Marcos does not stay late at work. Ajá. Uh -huh. Contracted form. Marcos doesn't stay late at work. Uh, Marcos doesn't stay late at work. Now, positive statement in the chat, please. Positive statement in the chat. Positive statement in the chat, please. Oh. Yeah. The okay, Maria. No, that's Marcos, right? Marcos, do the table, please, to type the sentence in the chat. Positive statement, right? Marco doesn't stay later at home at uh, work. Now, positive statement, positive. Mm. Uh, what's missing in the in, in Michael's uh, sentence? ¿Qué hace falta en la oración de Michael? Michael. Sí, lo voy a poner acá. Ok. Y veamos. Veamos, porque eso nos va a ayudar a todos. No se preocupen. Si nos equivocamos, ya sabemos que para eso estamos acá. Podemos cometer los errores que hay. Cualquier error, no importa. Ok, so, pero de los errores vamos a sacar siempre algo positivo. Marcos, stay late at work. What's missing there? ¿Qué falta? El yes. Ah, ok. Alguien dice yes. Ok. Ahora les pregunto, ¿está correcto o incorrecto? ¿O todavía le falta algo? Mm -hmm. ¿Quién se recuerda de las reglas que cuando hay, cuando hay una vocal antes de la Y, ¿qué sucede? ED. No, es presente simple. Se elimina. Se elimina la Y. Uh... Y yes, y okay. e no, 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 no. Go to the web, vayan a la web y investiguen cómo se conjuga este verbo, porfa. Y me dicen que, cuál es el problema, porfa. Mm. Se sustituye por IES. Mm, not really. No, Maribel, I'm sorry. Hola, oh, S. Stay. Yeah, all right. Pretty good. Now, 
Hey, whenever you have a verb that have a vowel over here just before Y, you think you are going to do it to, to include the S, Thanks. okay? So it's very important. Okay, Marco stays late at work. Now yes, right? How does it? Some of being told. Okay. Okay, now. Now we say, right? Marco does not stay late at work. Marco doesn't stay late at work. And we have the positive statement. Marco stays late at work. <laughs> okay, so you see. Now, Juan and Peter do not write reports. Juan and Pedro do not write reports. Contracted form, please. Leanlo de manera que utilicen esto de, 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 en forma contractada. Juan y Pedro don't write a Okay. Positive statement in the chat, please. <clears throat> Mm. Positive statement in the chat. Excellent, very good, Aidan. That's the way it is. Juan and, uh, and Pedro write reports, very good. Daniel, Juan and Pedro write, excellent, very good. Okay. ¿Por qué algunas personas se confunden? Porque dirá, ah, pero Pedro es tercera persona y Juan también es tercera persona. Ah. Pero listen, cuando tengan dos nombres acá, ya no es tercera persona. Están hablando de ellos. ¿Okay? Si nosotros queremos, en lugar de decir Juan y Pedro, y queremos utilizar el pronombre, el pronombre es they. Ya no estamos hablando de tercera persona singular. Estamos hablando de tercera persona plural. They do not write reports. So that is the explanation. Juan and Peter do not write. Juan and Peter write. Very good. Excellent. And the last one. We do not send letters. Contracted form. Using contracted form. Mm -hmm. We don't send letters. We, we don't, don't send letters. Post it a statement in the chat, please. We send letters. Pretty good, Daniel. You're doing a great job tonight. And also, Aníbal, uh, the people who are participating in the chat, Berenice is all the time uh, participating. All right? So now, yeah, I think I consider it enough, right? I consider it enough. So we're going to go in and solve some exercises, OK? So, well, you are going to, you're going to do this later, but before doing this part, so we're going to, we're going to solve one, one exercise. Okay. A different exercise. I have a PowerPoint. Let me see. There's somebody in the chat. We don't send letters. Okay, Aníbal. Well, just to reaffirm what we have been studying, okay? Now, look, this 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 is very short. We already saw this information, right? This is the second time we see this info, but when, when forming negative statements, negative, negative statements, okay, with I, you're gonna use do not. We do not. You do not, and they do not. I don't like cheese, you don't, they don't, and we don't. Okay, remember. And these are called the person singular. Okay, he doesn't like, she doesn't like, he doesn't like. Just for you to remember. Now.
We're gonna go over some exercises. Well, this is more info, okay, but I will go over the the exercise by, by itself. Now, the synthesis may be positive, negative, or sometimes we're gonna see some question. Las oraciones que van a aparecer no van a ser solamente negativas, sino que van a ver positivas, negativas, y creo que hay un par de preguntas por ahí. Ustedes me ayudan a completarlas, por favor. Number one. Number one. Beloved be and take, take, take his, his dog, dog to the park. The park. Okay. Be often. Take. Pretty good. Now, this, this is info that we're going to study later. What really matters to, to me right now is, is the exercises. Now, Polly, a new computer. And you see a question mark over here. Does, Does Polly that's thing. need a new computer okay does Polly need, need a new, a new computer? computer that's right next one Uh huh. Help me, please. My neighbors. Uh, my neighbors. My neighbors not yet on very well. Oh, but if you say my neighbors not yet, so what? What is that? Not yet. Remember. Remember, we have been studying about uh, uh, negative statements also, right? So over here we have the, the negative statement. ¿Se recuerdan el patrón my, que acabamos de, de ver? My day for do not. Ah, okay, that's different, right? My neighbors. Don't not. My neighbors. Do don't not. get uh, Don't get, don't get, don't get, get. Very well. All right. What about am I in? Am I near? I am. Tom B. Don't be. Yet. Don't be married. Ah, okay. So don't listen carefully. <laughs> listen carefully. Listen carefully. What is this? What is this verb, people? Where is this verb? B. Okay. Ya ven que en inglés todo vuelve como, como, que, se, como que vamos como dándole la, 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 la vuelta y como que se nos presentan cosas que vimos antes. Okay. B is different, right? El verbo B de alguna manera es diferente. ¿Cuál es la forma del verbo B en presente? Verb B in present. R. R. Give me a second. R. Uh huh. Is. Is. Um, is. And. Uh, um, um, question. Usamos auxiliar do or does con este verbo. Oh. See, so yes or no? Yes, don't. Yeah, but, but we say they, I don't are. Who is here? I don't are. I, he he doesn't is or yeah. uh, I don't mm -hmm. am. Podemos decirlo así. Are not. Are not. No. Ah, okay, so be careful. Okay, be careful because it cannot be possible with this girl. So. 
Just for you to remember, this is basic one. A mí me encantan esos niveles porque estamos regresando a ejercicio de básico uno, nos movemos un poquito con el básico dos, a modo de ir aclarando ciertas, ciertas cosas. Ok. So, it cannot be possible. No, no es posible con el verbo, con el verbo be utilizar auxiliar do or does. No, no, no. ¿Cuál es la forma del presente? Am, is, are. are. Negative form. Are. Negative form. Are. 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 So, are are. Say, vamos, vamos a conjugar el verbo y vamos a ocupar married. Married. Vamos a ocupar el adjetivo married. Si yo digo, okay. I... I am. I am married. Yes. Negative form. I'm not married. I'm not I'm married. Not, yes, I'm not married. <laughs> now, you. You, you are. You are. You are married. You are married. Negative. You, are. you aren't. You aren't. Interrogative. Married. Are you, are, you, are, you are you married? Are you, right? are you married? Okay. Now, uh, are you, he? He is. He is married. Married. Native form? He is a married. He is a married. Uh, question? Is he? Is, is, he, he, married? is he married? Is he married? All right. So now you remember the body, right? So actually, this is about the verb is kind of difficult. Este ejercicio está un poco tricky, okay? Pero no sirve. No sirve oh, para hacer repaso. Ian, aren't married yet. All right. So Emma and I am or aren't married yet. So that's the way it is in any form. Now, next one. Uh huh. Sally. 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 Does. Now, the, uh, the, now, does practice. Now, give me a second. Recuerden, este ejercicio, sí. este ejercicio sí. pueden venir oraciones positivas, oraciones negativas y pueden venir preguntas. Ahora, ¿qué tipo de oración <coughs> es esta? Positiva, positive, negative, or it's a question. Eso es positive. lo primero que tienen que positive. identificar. Positive. Es positive, right? Es positive. Si fuera negativo aquí el, uh, en el paréntesis apareciera not. Okay. Ahora, si fuera pregunta, if it were a, a question, apareciera aquí al final una question mark. Okay? okay. So, de esa manera lo vamos a ir definiendo. Now, so it's a, a, a positive sentence, right? So, how do you solve it? Solid practices. Excellent. One. Even transition was quite good. Sally practices once a week. Okay. Sally. 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 Pretty good. Next one. Uh -huh. Sally. Sally. Now, Thanks. read the whole statement, please. But I always say the train to walk. Yeah, excellent. Now, yes, right now we're talking. Brian always takes a train to work. Good. Are your friends? Is your friends smoke? Okay, now you need to define something over here. Vamos a definir algo acá. ¿Qué les, qué, qué, qué les hace pensar que esta oración vamos a ocupar el verbo be? Question. Ah, el question mark les hace pensar que eso es con el verbo be. Ahora, este verbo no lo vamos a ocupar aquí. ¿Por qué? Porque el verbo que tenemos es el verbo smoke. Quiere decir que si no voy a ocupar el verbo be, tengo que ocupar el, el auxiliar, do or does. All right? Yes. Ok, now. Now, yes. How do you solve it? Does your friend 
Okay, now listen carefully oh. once again. Now, yeah. singular or plural? Plural. plural. So if it is plural, sing, uh, I mean, do or does? Do. How how do you how do you solve it then? R. R. Uh, uh, can it be R? And does and bring and does your bring sin S. Without S. Now once again, pay attention. Tenemos dos opciones para crearlo. Ya dijimos que el B. No va, aquí no, no, no. B, no, no, no vamos a ocupar este verbo aquí, no. ¿Por qué no? Porque es otro verbo el que está aquí. El verbo smog. Ok, otra cosa que hay que fijarse. Si está en plural o si está en singular. Si está en plural, ya no es tercera persona singular, sino que es tercera persona plural. Real. Si digo friend, friend solo uno, friend. Ahí sí, es tercera persona, singular. Y ahí sí ya puedo ocupar das. Pero como está en plural, ya no puede ser das. Tiene que ser... Se habla, Se habla de ellos. Tú. Ya, yeah, do, people. Do. Mm -hmm. Ok, let's see. Now, how do you solve it? Ok. How do you solve it, then? ¿Cómo lo resuelven? Do your... Do your friends mock? Do your friends mock? Do your friends mock? Okay, let's try to continue. David works. Excellent. David works in a bank. Excellent. Now, yes. Are you speak Spanish? Now, why are you? Why the verb be? Now, do you, you need to be clear about it. Do you speak Spanish? Do you? Do you speak it? Sí. ¿Por qué el verbo be? Are you? Okay. Recuérdense que con el verbo be podemos tener... Ah, esto, esto sí quiero que también lo tengan claro. En, todo, en toda la gramática que ustedes van a ver, cualquier tipo de gramática, siempre van a ver oraciones positivas, oraciones negativas y preguntas. Ok, preguntas abiertas, preguntas cerradas, en cualquier gramática. Ok, si yo digo el verbo be, ahí vamos a encontrar positive statement, negative statement, sin question. Si yo digo presente simple, también, ok, presente simple, también. Ok, positive, negative. Interroga. Si yo digo will, que digo future, si yo hablo en futuro, lo mismo. Si yo digo futuro perfecto, lo mismo. Si yo digo presente perfecto, o sea, toda la gramática siempre vamos a encontrar estas tres maneras de comunicar. Oraciones positivas, negativas y preguntas. Ahora, en este ejercicio, en this exercise, what you need to see, what you need to observe is the verb. Necesitan ver el verbo, observar el verbo. ¿Qué verbo tenemos? Speak. Speak. Ok, si no tenemos el verbo be, quiere decir que debemos ocupar en el ejercicio un auxiliar, do or does. Alright? So let us check. Do you speak Spanish? Do you speak Spanish? Do you, do you speak Spanish? Good. Do you speak Spanish? Ok, and listen to the intonation. Do you speak Spanish? This may be Mary don't like tea. Now once again. Mary doesn't like tea. Once again. Yeah. My two. Now remember. Mary, Mary doesn't like tea. That's okay. Um, is R. Este 
¿Lo vamos a ocupar o no lo vamos a ocupar? Um, is R? Is. No. Quit. no. Listen to me. ¿Lo debemos ocupar en el ejercicio, sí o no? No. No. Mm. Why no? Mm. No. Because the verb is. El verbo es like, ok. No, no es el verbo be, no. El verbo be, no. Ok. So, so if we have the, the verb like, do we need, do we need, do we need auxiliary? Hmm. Ok, now. ¿Se recuerdan cómo, cómo íbamos haciendo el patrón? Aquí tenemos el subject. ¿Qué más sigue? Do. El auxiliar. Auxiliary. Auxiliary. Auxiliary, which, which one? Do. Does. Doesn't. Does. 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 What else do we need? ¿Se acuerdan que hicimos esto? ¿Qué más necesitamos? Not. 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 Like. Like. ¿Y de ahí qué, qué seguía? El verbo. Like. Verb. The verb. Ok. Si se fijan, like no hay like. ningún verbo de la, la. Mary doesn't like tea. Sí. Okay? So remember about the pattern. Mary doesn't like tea. Mary doesn't, doesn't like, like tea. tea. Okay, so, well, listen. We're going to try to to create something. Okay, creo que hay más ejercicios. Mañana, de hecho, vamos a a dedicarnos a, a repasar mucho esto del presente simple, pero quiero que ustedes And creen you. algo, quiero que creen algo esta noche y que lo compartan con nosotros. Lo van a hacer de, de manera escrita y nos van a dejar el audio en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ahorita les enseño. Okay, now, as you can see over here, aquí en este ejercicio, nos pide que escribamos oraciones negativas. Six negative sentences. Pero en lugar de eso, yo necesito que ustedes escriban un, un pequeño párrafo. ¿Qué van a escribir en el párrafo? Van a escribir actividades que ustedes hacen y que no hacen. Las que hacen y las algunas que no hacen. ¿Okay? Van a ocupar el verbo be. ¿okay? Porque yo vi que eso como que les creó un poco de... de, de como que se, se creó un poco de confusión. Entonces necesito que incluyamos en su párrafo el verbo be. ¿Ok? En positive and negative statements and also simple present. Simple present. Positive and negative. Pero además de eso, pues en, en su párrafo, pues pueden, pueden incluir lo, qué es lo que hace otra persona. Okay? Pueden incluir lo que ustedes hacen y, por ejemplo, lo que hace su hermano o lo que hace un compañero de trabajo. ¿Ok? Lo que hace y lo que no hace, por supuesto. Entonces, necesito que el párrafo tenga por lo menos que siete oraciones. Siete. Ok, so let us work, let us work on that. Trabajemos en ello. No, no vamos a formar grupos. En realidad, pues, creo que el clima no, 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 no nos va a ayudar y nos va a crear un problema de, que nos va a sacar de la plataforma. Entonces, trabajemos en este ejercicio. Un párrafo corto. De siete líneas. Cuando lo terminen, yo me voy a dar cuenta que usted ya lo terminó cuando lo lean y nos dejen el mensaje en el grupo de WhatsApp. ¿Ok? Let's spend like seven minutes over here. Vamos a, a dedicarles que unos siete, de siete a, a ocho minutos a esto. Eh, ¿Por qué siete, ocho minutos? Necesitan verificar pronunciación, el verbo, Um, etcétera 
¿ok? Además de eso, lo deben de escribir. Tomarle foto y dejarlo en, en el grupo también. Okay. So, you have eight minutes. Say eight minutes would be enough. Yo creo que con ocho minutos es suficiente. Any question? De algo en específico, lo que querramos. Eh, vamos a utilizar actividades diarias. Ok, ahí encontramos infinidad de verbos. Ok, por ejemplo, si ustedes son curiosos y, 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 y empiezan a, a, a pensar, bueno, ¿cómo se dice respirar en inglés? ¿Cómo se dice descansar en inglés? ¿Cómo se dice sudar en inglés? Van a encontrar infinidad de, de, de verbos por ahí que los pueden usar, ¿ok? Y decir, por ejemplo, bueno, eh, a, las, a las 10 de la mañana me encuentro en el trabajo. Es una hora muy pesada que inclusive, o sea, a esa hora yo sudo mucho. Ah, ok, entonces ya, ya ustedes ya van como tomando otras ideas, otros verbos que inclusive no hemos incluido en esta clase. Usen la web, usen su creatividad y pues estaré atento a cualquier pregunta. All right. No,
Okay, now uh, I, I was just checking some of your, your sentences, your statements, and they are quite good. Now, I will stop sharing. And well, I would ask some of you to read the information that you got. Okay, so that we can check the 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 ex, the, the transition. So well, I need three volunteers, only three. Three people. I need three people who, who can help me with my I mean, with this activity. Daniel? Hello, Leo. Lo, lo. Please. Okay. Please, Daniel. I am fine. I drink coffee. I don't like the cold. I like the tropical weather. I love to see the rain, but I don't want to get wet. I always arrive early to work, but sometimes the traffic is heavy. Once a week, we go out with my co-worker. All right, very good. Now the verb get, G-E-T, okay, Daniel is pronounced get. get. Yeah, thank you very much. Daniel, uh, well, you did a great job. Anibal, read yours, please. <clears throat> I do my homework in the afternoon. Do you like soccer? Where do you live? She does, she does read the newspaper every day. You don't work very hard. Mr. Green does work with my uncle. The bus doesn't stop at the corner. They always do a great job when they paint. Thank you, Aníbal. That was quite good. Thank you. And Michael? Yes. Can you read your, your uh, paragraph, please? please. Uh, every day I go to work at 7 a.m. Also, my co-worker arrives to work at 9 a.m. Every day we drink a lot of coffee without sugar. And he is not a responsible person because he doesn't have discipline, but he shines and that's all. And that's it. Okay, Michael, discipline, right? He doesn't have any discipline. Thank you very much, Michael. That was quite good. Veronica? Well, I am actually a early bird person. Every day about 6 a.m. o'clock, I prepare food for my son. She is very tall and just have seven years. Uh, he don't, I don't like to go to the school, but I say that I need. Um, before I take my shower and coffee cup for I start my shift in the world. Uh, I don't like that this she totally because <laughs> it's very hard to go there. And the people call it is very angry. All right. Fantastic. That was quite good. Now, something that, well, this, this is a common error, a common mistake. Cuando, cuando hablamos del verbo have y el, del verbo be, el verbo be tiene pues, alrededor de cuatro, cuatro significados. Pero si yo digo, por ejemplo, um, eh, Oscar tiene 20 años. ¿Cómo decimos eso en inglés? Oscar is 20 years old. Ok, very good. Oscar is yeah. 20 years old. Si yo digo Oscar y Edgar eh, tienen uh, 20 y 23 ¿Cómo dicen eso en inglés? Oscar y Elgar are 20 and 23 years old. All right, they are 20 and 23. Very good. That's fantastic. Now, if I if I if I say um Daniel tiene cuatro vehículos. How do you say that in English? Um, 
Then we have our cards. Ok. Regresamos otra vez. Mañana vamos a hacer un repaso muy, muy, muy a detalle del verbo have. Ok. Porque veo que por ahí como que todavía nos falta un poquito. Ok. No, listen. Uh, time is almost uh, done. Te casi cerramos con el, con, con el tiempo. Pero okay. este, quiero recordarles que el día de mañana nos vamos a dedicar a practicar mucho, muchísimo. Uh, ahora estuve observando algunas cosas y yo creo que es importante que, que, que mañana lo abordemos, que practiquemos mucho, de tal manera que, ok, Maribel, thank you. Ok, de tal manera que el día de mañana pues saltemos de, de aclarar cualquier duda respecto a, a lo que es el presente simple. Si se fijan, es, es un tema muy amplio, o sea, hay mucho que, que practicar, hay, hay muchos ejercicios que podemos encontrar en la web, eh, lecturas, etcétera, eh, listening. Eh, yo pues ya tengo preparadas algunas actividades por ahí para mañana, pero recuérdense que cada uno, cada uno de ustedes va a traer uno, o por lo menos una actividad que ustedes la manejen al 100%, vocabulario, pronunciación, cómo se resuelven los ejercicios, porque nos lo van a desplegar, ¿ok? De tal modo que eh, todos vayamos aportando, ¿verdad? A resolver ese ejercicio. Eh, así que pues voy a pasar la lista. Y si me ayudan, por favor, también resolviendo los ejercicios de la plataforma, no se les olvide porque necesito este, actualizar, actualizar el cuadro en donde, donde aparece el récord de sus actividades. Ok. Eiran. Here, teacher. Ok, Aiden. Belén. Ok, Claudia. Daniel. Present, teacher. Good. Dina. Present, teacher. All right, Ed Edilson. Edgar, yeah, Edgar is there. Don't worry, Edgar, I, I, I already saw you. And Gladys? Present. Jonathan? I didn't listen to Jonathan tonight. So Jonathan was missing. Jonathan. Eh, María Elba. Presente. Okay. Mario Cristóbal. Berenice. Presente. Okay. Miguel Ángel. Here, teacher. Noé Aníbal. Presente, teacher. Norma Xiomara. Present teacher. Oscar Antonio. Present teacher. Ronan. Teresa. En Veraliz. Present teacher. Ok, very good. Right. Great, people. Once again, congratulations. We're, we're, we're doing a great job. Okay. Todavía tenemos un par de minutos. No sé si hay algunas preguntas, algunas eh, dudas que quieran compartir, eh, inquietudes, consejos. Eh, yo sé que son personas muy ocupadas durante el día, pero de alguna manera... Eh, pues me gustaría escuchar 
de, de, de cómo le hacen ustedes como para estar en contacto con el segundo idioma durante el día. ¿Cuánto tiempo le pueden dedicar a, a un ejercicio, a aprenderse una frase, eh, a estar conectados en sí con el idioma, aprenderse la, la letra de una canción, eh, a leer algo en inglés, no sé. ¿Alguna estrategia que a ustedes le está funcionando mucho y que lo, le gustaría compartirla? Preguntas acerca de las actividades que vamos a, a desarrollar el día de mañana. Profe, y lo de mañana se puede traer cualquier, cualquier, este, cualquier oración o, o algo ahí para leer. Sí, recuérdense que el tema central va a ser presente simple. Oraciones positivas, negativas, interrogativas, eh, ejercicios de lectura comprensiva, algo que ustedes consideren que es que es oportuno que, que lo veamos acá, ¿verdad? Eh, siempre, pero siempre enfocándose con el tema, ¿verdad? Presente simple, no otra gramática. Presente simple. Ahorita queremos reafirmar esto del presente simple. Ok. Profe. Michael. Y PDF de, de principiante 1. Eh, no sé si me lo puede brindar porque como solo en el 2 voy ya y el 1 no, 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 no lo he recibido. De acuerdo, eh, Michael. Solo escríbame si en privado para yo compartirle solamente a usted el PDF de, del módulo 1. Ok. Si alguien más lo necesita, pues también me pueden escribir y yo con gusto se lo comparto. Ok, de, de esa manera, pues visualizan, hacen un repaso de lo que vieron en el módulo 1. Si, si, si ven ahí, por ejemplo, si alguien tiene problemas con el ABC, con los números, hasta el mil, por ejemplo, pues pueden hacer un repaso. A buscar a... <risa> Recuerden que esta semana tenemos ese reto de aprender los números hasta el mil. Si no, pues le puede hacer jarana ahí con los precios. Uh -huh. Ok, no sé si algo más se nos escapa. Eh, y si no, pues nos quedamos hasta acá y nos vemos el día de mañana. ¿Les parece? Ok. Ok. okay. Good night, people. See you tomorrow. Hagan el favor de, de, de completar las actividades en la plataforma. Se los voy a agradecer mucho, ¿ok? okay. See you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Good night. See you next class.